Is salt water bad for your swimming pool? Yes, it is. Uh, most people won't be as upfront telling you that because most people are currently trying to sell you a salt water system. If you gave me a thousand dollars and were basing your decision whether to give me that thousand dollars or not, uh, if you're basing that on my ability to give you all positive information, well then, I mean, that's going to be a little bit more realistic, more close to the information that you're given. Um, being that I'm not trying to sell you a salt water system, I don't mind telling you the truth, which is salt is bad for swimming pools and this is this should be well known but it's not specifically well known within the industry uh, salt water is old technology it's not new it's 35 to 40 year old technology that's only really caught on in the last five to ten years but the reality is is that there's a process happening called galvanic corrosion which absolutely will damage your swimming pool and not just damage your swimming pool damage the most expensive hardest to service and replace parts of your swimming pool. Um, there are things that you can do to help mitigate that damage, but most people don't even do that. Um, if I were selling you a salt water system and I said, well, I mean, salt might ruin your pool, so you need to s install this sacrificial anode just to help, you know, deal with the damage from the salt water. You might say, well, hold on a second. I thought salt water was supposed to be really good. You hear everybody talking about it and how great it feels on the skin, and now you might lose the sale as a result of it. Uh, or maybe you you don't know a lot about uh, galvanic corrosion and if you don't know a lot about galvanic corrosion you're gonna have an awful hard time explaining to a customer why they need to install a sacrificial anode why they need to install a check valve in between the salt cell and their heater um, basically salt water is good it's there's nothing wrong with it under the right circumstances when an informed customer has purchased it if you are aware of galvanic corrosion you know that it can and will damage components of your swimming pool if you're aware that there's some steps that you can do to help mitigate that damage and you take them then by all means go with salt water um, but I feel very bad for the customers who bought a new salt water system uh, had it installed and a year later their new heater is broken because they didn't put a check valve in between it or uh, 10 years down the road they need to remove the pool completely because all the rebar in the pool has corroded because it wasn't bonded properly. Uh, if the pool isn't bonded properly and grounded properly and you install a saltwater system on it, especially without a sacrificial anode, the pool is going to take uh, extreme levels of damage, unsustainable levels of damage from the result of galvanic corrosion. So if you're thinking about getting a, a saltwater system for your pool, you have to be informed. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can read a little bit more about what galvanic corrosion is, how it works, how it affects your pool, but more importantly, what you can do to stop that. You don't have to necessarily give up the dream of having salt water, you just have to become more informed. And if you like this video, then please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.